Welcome everyone. This is Stealth Craft Boats. My name is Trevor. Today I'm bringing you a little video about a 1654 Power Drifter sled. This sled is a center console. We can lay these guys out in a bunch of different ways from our tiller handle style to the center console with the binnacle style control system. Stepping up to our front deck here, we're gonna go over our anchor arm. Right on the anchor arm, we have our rough country headlight system, very bright LEDs coming back to our powerful powered anchor system. Nice switch up front here for when you're loading or unloading, or if you're just fishing off the front deck, you can maneuver that anchor up and down. Big 75 pound pyramid on this thing. Our customer definitely wants to stop. Coming back, we have our standard casting brace up front. Removable from the post down, easy to just pop on out. Coming back here, we have our Minn Kota Trova trolling motor. You can see we have it mounted off the side here with a quick release bracket. You can just pull the pin and pop it right out. On our XXL deck here, we have a big hatch for storage. Gives you full storage underneath the entire casting deck up front. We have our battery under the floor here for our trolling motor system and our accessories. Coming back to our center console, we have up top a Hummingbird Helix 8 with mega down imaging and side imaging for the graph and sonar. We have a whole bunch of switches on the patch panel from our powered anchor system, headlights, navigation, all the interior LED package that we have on this thing as well. Builds pump, and of course, you have to have some USB ports to charge your cell phone. Underneath the center console, we have a lockable storage that goes up into your XXL deck on the front. Another feature we love to have on these center consoles is a flip up windshield. Just a little lock on the side. We have bungees down low on your center console that you can tie it onto so she's not rocking when you're going down the road. Very great setup if you ever want a full enclosure or a bimini top. We just snap it right to your windshield here and it'll keep you warm all winter long. Coming back for the interior layout, we have full length tackle trays on the port and starboard side. We have two ports up on top of your tackle tray going into the back deck. That way you can run two fully made up fly rods or spin rods, whichever you prefer. Underneath your tackle trays, we have a three rod storage system with really nice bungees and rod holders. Foam up on your tackle trays. We have foam underneath the tackle trays to keep the rods nice and safe. We know you guys pay a lot of money for your gear, so we wanna keep that stuff looking crisp. Coming to the back deck here, we have our one, two, three seating, three ports. Two ports are being used right now for our temperate seats on the back. We also have a standard casting brace in the rear deck in case you wanna have support while you're fishing or just motoring around. Big XL deck back here to fish off of. Nice hatch for your storage of your gas tank, fuel water separator, bilge pump, and battery. So this boat is powered by a Mercury 6040 jet. Really great motor that pairs very well with these 1654s. The sticks are the Smoker Bandits, some of the lightest oars we have. Very, very sweet flex to them. They have a really good look to them. They're really nice on the shoulders with how light they are. For our rower seat, we have a Stealth Craft 45 quart cooler with our seat up on top. Nice little cushion for you. You can move it around the cabin here and use it as your rower seat. Use it as a seat for the passenger. Different tie downs are also available depending on how or where you want them. We can get you outfitted there. Throughout the entire boat, we have spaghetti mat here on the lower section in the lower deck and up on the upper deck here as well. All cut out for your hatches and your rod system back here. Full premium galvanized trailer under this jet sled. Up top, we're gonna to start with our nice spare tire mounted off to the side. A swing tongue, breakdown neck for the extra storage capabilities. Our green cottage wench, super long strap there for you. Big heavy duty wench tower. We have our very nice anchor box there holding our big 75 pound pyramid. 
with the full premium trailer what you get is a fully expanded metal catwalk coming from the front all the way down to the back full roller system extra heavy duty load guides on the trailer as well and of course our midnight mag rims sweet blacked out rims and you can't go wrong with the vortex bearing package upgrade there six year hundred thousand mile warranty on the bearings and the last but not least, our G2 buckle system. Really nice strap and buckle. We put our spaghetti mat on there to keep your boat gouge free. And that just ratchets down to hold the boat down in the back. So if you guys are looking for any information about a boat build like this one or any other that may be similar from our jet sleds, drift boats, and rafts, just give us a call, send us an email, and we'll get you all hooked up for information. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Have yourselves a great day.